Hey guys, just an update on what's going on with the 2007 F-150 with 5.4 in it. If you remember last week, we were getting some codes P0300, 303, and 307, and all indications were is that it was the camshaft position sensors. So we swapped those out. And while the truck ran much better, um, under a load going up a hill is under the load. Um, I was getting a bump just the like that when I was pressing on the accelerator. And then when I was under a really heavy load on a really steep grade, it was, you know, it was just constant. So I think my issue was coil packs. Um, now your cam position sensors and your coil packs, you know, they, they can work in conjunction and, and cause similar symptoms, but I changed those last week. It cost me 38 bucks. It only took about 40 minutes. And, um, like I said, it ran much smoother, but I think I've got coil pack issues because, you know, I'm just getting that bump and <clears throat> so what I've done is I bought an eight pack of Duralast coil packs and this is a coil pack right here and what happens is this sticks down into the block and the spark plug goes in the end of it right here this is your coil pack right here and then you've got a electronic um, plug here and then you've got a screw hole here to hold it in and what happens is is in the cars from yesteryear you had spark plugs spark plug wires that in turn went to the distributor well now with all the advancement of the electronics the computer on the car controls everything so this is an electronically controlled um, coil pack um, that is controlled by the engine's computer. So what happens is, is there's a bunch of ignition coils inside of this pack right here, and they store up energy and then they release it all at once. That goes down and goes into your spark plug and causes the ignition sequence. Um, so we are going to change out all eight of these. I could just change out number seven and I, as well as number three. But if two of them are going bad, then the chances of the other ones not far behind it um, is, is a very real possibility. So it doesn't make any sense just to do the two. Um, all eight of these was $239. Um, and we're just going to, like I said, unscrew this screw, un unplug that electrical connector and pull these out. I'm not going to change the plugs today, um, but it is a good idea to change your plugs while you're changing these. But um, I'm, I'm not gonna change plugs just because I don't have them. So let me show you what these things look like installed on the motor, and then we'll start swapping these things out one at a time. All right, the ignition coils are those yellow things right there. There's four on the right, and then there's four on the left. These have already been changed out once. These are Excels, and I'm gonna change them out with Duralast just because they didn't have any Excels in stock. But you can see the screw hole right there to the right, and then the electrical plug is on top of it. And then that, I'll grab the head of that um, ignition pack, and I'll just twist it and rotate it out and then I'll insert the new one. And we have to do it, you know, on all four of them. As you get to the back of the motor, they get harder to get to. All right, I got all four of these replaced. It was too hard to record because it's so deep down into the engine cavity, but you can see the new ones are black there. And there's the electrical connector. I told you that gray one was the electrical connector, but it's actually not. It's actually that one. And then that is a seven millimeter bolt. And then you, so that's six, seven, I'm sorry, five, six, seven, and then eight all the way in the back. That one in the back was really hard to get to. 
but let me show you something these are the four that came out every one of them when i took them out the boot stayed in and separated from the ignition coil so i had to pull these out with pliers but look how distorted they are and they were really stuck on those plugs i had to pull them off with pliers every one of them but the other thing that happened is is every one of my electrical connectors that plugs in here the clip broke on it so when i went to plug them back on the new ones they didn't clip on there so it right now it's just a snug fit so i'm gonna have to uh look into getting some replacement clips to put on my factory wiring harness or doing something to keep those snap down on there i guess just the brittleness um the wear and tear the heating and cooling cycles of running the engine for 182,000 miles just cause those clips to get brittle so we're going to swap the other four now on the other bank and i did start the truck to see what it was going to do and it started fine and ran fine so um i didn't drive it yet let's get these other four swapped out and we'll go for a drive all right so we got all eight of those swapped out and now we're driving, checking it out, seeing how it's going to do. Seems to be doing fine so far. I'm going, to, now that it's warmed up, I'm going to uh, get in the accelerator a little bit and put it under a load and see exactly what it does. good still got a check engine light on as you can see but i'll pull into auto zone get that turned off and i think we're good to go all right so here's the other bank but i wanted to show you in order to get to that very back one back there I ended up having to pull the computer down because i just couldn't reach back there with that pipe right there i just couldn't get my hand back there so Took a little extra step to get that, but uh, no big deal. And uh, as you saw, it's running real good. This is what I used, Duralast Ignition Coil Multipacks. This was an eight pack. And it was, uh, like I said, $239. And for the uh, 2007 F-150 5.4 liter, it's part number Charlie 1541-8. All right, so we're gonna leave it at that. And I think between the coil packs and the cam position sensors, we're gonna be able to go for a few more miles. Thanks for watching and have a good one and we'll see you on the next one.